Hi, Mum. I'm not going to make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. And I realise that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Uncle Marcus, I didn't expect to hear from you. Hey, kid. Listen, I'm really sorry that I missed you at the family meeting last week. Work had this big case, and I, I tried to tell them that it was my last chance to see you. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I know, but I, I really wanted to see you before you went back to LA. I've not seen you in so long. I'm sorry, too. More than you can possibly believe. What's up? Did something happen at the meeting? I mean, other than the we hate... Marcus Club shouting at you about how they could run the business better than you. Yeah. Something did happen, and that's why I needed to talk to you, Abby. I need your help. Yeah, of course. Anything. You know that. Um, what do you want me to do? I need you to investigate a murder. Oh, this is a prank, right? I wish. Murder? Who's been killed? Me. What? <laughs> I... I don't... I don't understand. I've been poisoned. Abby, I'm dying. And it was someone at the family meeting. The family? No. <laughs> no. My doctors have confirmed it. It's the only possible time it could have happened. Someone who was at the family meeting poisoned me. I don't know who, and I don't know how. But they did. But can't they treat you? Can't they... they don't know what the poison was. They're working on it, but they can't start treating me until they know. Well, there must be something that they can do. <sighs> I did a lot of hard living in the 80s, kiddo. My body ain't what it used to be. And if they were to treat me with the wrong thing, that could kill me. Sorry, kiddo. How... how long... How long have I got? They say it's hours. This can't be real. That's why I need your help, Abby. I need you to find out who did this tonight. Me? No, I... I can't. I mean... How? <laughs> the quiz. Everyone's gonna be there, Abby. You need to question them. Find out who in the family wants me dead. What if... what if they find out what I'm doing? What... what will they think? Abby, I'm dying. Who cares what they think? Let me ask you a question, kid. Why are you working in law? Because, because mom, the family, they decided that that's what I should do. Exactly. And if you weren't part of this fucked up family and you weren't still looking for their approval, what would you be doing? You know what? Yeah, I know what. I just want you to say it again to make sure you haven't forgotten. I want to design games. So you need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well if one of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. <sighs> oh, shit. Mum's calling me. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. See? Was that so hard? That felt weird. You know, your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. Told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad left me the business, and they would get my share only when they pried it from my cold, dead hands. I just kind of thought they'd wait a few years. <laughs> they would... they would never. You don't know that, Abby. Look, I've been having a lot of research done recently for my autobiography, and this family has got secrets, believe me. I wouldn't put anything past them. Well, I should really get to the quiz before Mom kills me. That wasn't meant to be a joke. I know. You can do this. I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know what makes them tick, right? Use that to your advantage. What if I screw it up? Well, I am betting my life 
on that not happening. Okay, I'll try. I'll be here, listening. I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby, find the poison, find the proof, find the killer. I just don't understand why there always has to be this big song and dance about Flick's birthday. This isn't just about me, June. It's about us, the family, spending quality time together. And I'm sorry we don't do the same thing on your birthday. Not sure anyone really remembers when it is. Hi. Oh, Abby. Is that the big entrance you made us sit around for? Sorry, Mum. Right. Now we're all here together. Is there something everyone would like to say to me, considering what day it is? Well, we're all here, aren't we? What more do you want? A bloody parade? Want me to pull some fireworks out of my asshole? I thought you'd be thanking me, June. Perfect excuse for a drink. What's your reason every other day of the week? You girls are as bad as each other. Pull your camera down, down. That better? Perfect, Mummy. I think. We should all sing Mum Happy Birthday. Oh, Lottie, don't be so crass. Happy birthday is so bloody depressing. I don't even like the phrase. Do you know what they say in the Basque region? <laughs> Zorianak Zuri. Isn't that delightful? Ah, uh, can everyone hear me? Great. Now listen, I actually think the birthdays are a really good time to do a little bit of a privilege audit, you know? Really take a look. And that's why they invented the mute button. So, where's Bradley the bedroom boy? Bradley, Her Royal Highness Auntie Felicity requests your presence. So do you want to get your pallid features in front of a webcam? Oh, nice of you to dress up for the occasion, Bradley. So don't you want to wish your auntie Zori Nagzuri? Uh, I don't know what that is, but... I mean, if this is about your birthday... If you I... say one syllable about birthdays just being a day closer to death, I will mute you like I muted your brother. <sighs> yeah, but that's what birthdays are, though. Signposts pointing towards the grave, you know? <sighs> Let's get on with the quiz before I mute you all. Hasn't anyone got something nice to say? Uh, happy birthday, Mum. What? Oh, Abby. <laughs> Completely forgotten you were there. Anyway, now, down to the first order of business. Whose turn is it to ask the first round of questions? Well, fine. Well, we'll have to pick someone. Who hasn't done one recently? Me. Not you. Abby, come talk to me a second. Boy, they can't even pretend to like each other for five minutes, can they? I really don't think I could do this. Look, it's only asking questions. You know them. You just need to figure out how to get them talking. Right, and start simple. Just go back in there and see if you can figure out whose round is first. It's just like gathering evidence. Just give it a shot. OK. Look. I'm sorry, OK? This part of East Africa, it's amazing. But 4G isn't a strong point. But all I'm saying is I might cut in and out. Well, I'm not going first. It's my birthday. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is probably speaking with Lottie, Toby. Or if you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. But, Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first? No. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed? Did you get your mother a present? Yeah, of course. I got her, um... No, no, I don't want to know what it is. I just want to know if I'm going to have to sit through another one of 
flicks and terminal speeches about disappointment and you letting the family down, blah, 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 blah. My boys haven't got me anything for years. No swine? Uh, do you um, know who should go first? With the quiz, I mean. I went first last year. Oh, okay, good. Well, at least that narrows it down. What about the boys? No. Bradley went first the year before me. Oh, yeah. It was like, play your cards right, but with death statistics, like what's killed more people in a year, earthquakes or plane crashes. <laughs> well, what about Toby then? No. He wants to do his later. Do you know, I can never remember Lottie ever doing a round. So why don't you go and irritate her? Well, thanks for the help. <laughs> why do I feel like that worked, but was also terrible? You spoke to June for more than 10 seconds without her turning against you. That's promising. You're doing great, kiddo. Just get back to the quiz. Okay. You realize the quiz is the one night of the year where we can eat together as a family and just have some actual fun. Now can someone please start asking some fucking questions? I think maybe it's Lottie's turn to go first. Cool, I'll do it. <sighs> I can do it. Seriously, I'm just gonna do like a general knowledge round. Okay, fine, that's... Where the questions are all about me. That's not general. Just get on with it. Okay, everyone pick your teams, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, uh, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to... Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you... Want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each... Round? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or <laughs> avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sure... <laughs> Are you OK? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with Mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. Oh, so you want to be in a team with me? Well, at least you're not June. Did you like the present I got you? Mm, remind me? The earrings? Oh, yes, that's right. You think they suit me, do you? Well, I just think you look great in anything. OK, question one. Whenever I'm in Dubai, I go to Dimitri Chateau's. He does my favourite dish in the world. What is it? What a stupid question. How on earth am I supposed to keep track of every culinary fiasco that Lottie gets obsessed with? I mean, whatever it is, it'll be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Is it trendy to eat a hedge now? Yeah, I haven't got a clue either. I, you're right, I, d I don't know how she expects us to know these. <laughs> Shall we just guess? You can think of something. Sure, uh, Hunter's chicken? She likes that. So the dish is called Humility. Even the name makes me feel sick. It's a specially prepared ketogenic hemp and tofu bowl served with wild quinoa. Oh, Seriously unreal. Question two, I like to use my channel to help others, so which charity did I recently promote on my socials? Oh, I know this. Toby was arguing with her about it at the meeting, kept saying it wasn't a real charity. At the meeting? Mm, Toby was going mad. 
He was on edge about something all evening. Never seen him so keen to be at the meeting. It's like he had something to get out of it. He didn't even come last year. Didn't he? Claimed he had a mindfulness retreat in the Cairngorms. Oh, I know what it was. It wasn't a charity. It was a fundraiser for an eco-fashion brand that was going out of business now. Green pieces. That's what they were called. Was anyone else acting strange at the meeting? Oh, stop it, Abby. I don't want to talk about that now. Tonight's about family and fun. The two Fs. Don't make me add another. Christ, I tried some of Greenpeace's stuff once. It's all recycled. You're literally wearing someone else's rubbish. Disgusting. So green pieces, as in a piece of pie. How else would you spell it? The answer is green pieces. They're going through a really tough time right now, so it's like your perfect chance to give something back. You can find the donation link on my socials. How she can call that a charity, I don't know. <laughs> First time I've ever agreed with Toby. So why was Toby so keen to be at the meeting this time? <laughs> I don't know, he was on edge all evening. Kept trying to get Uncle Marcus on his own. Cornered him every time he stood up. <laughs> Marcus looked like he was being hunted down. God knows what all that was about. Um, just talk amongst yourselves, guys. When I have question three, I will shout. Sorry I missed the meeting, Mum. So you should be. It was the usual nightmare. Don't see why you should get to escape it. The one consolation, Marcus came off worse this time. I mean, I know you've hero-worshipped that man ever since your father died, but he really is an awful prick. What happened? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? Auntie June knocked one of her foul-smelling candles right onto him. Christ knows what scent it was supposed to be. Cherry and toilet dark, it smelt like. Something chemical, anyway. And Marcus's jumper started to burn instantly. So Toby threw his drink straight in Marcus's face, said he was trying to put out the flames. Though how you missed by that much accidentally, I don't know. So then I poured Marcus's drink over him to actually put out the flames. Of course. Then Marcus started shouting about Auntie June burning his hand and Lottie came in with an old wet rag which she said was cold and started rubbing it on the burn. Then your nan found a first aid box and started trying to dress the wound. Bradley came in with, well, they were pills. We said they were painkillers. Would you trust anything Bradley gave you? Mm, I've got it, okay. The internet loves me for my eyes and my unique style, but which of my special talents has recently got them obsessed? It was only a matter of time before she brought up singing. I, I think that she might mean something else. She can't do anything else. Well, she posted this video last week of her doing, like, this viral dance. Um, it was called The Shaker. You basically just shake your... You know. I can guess. Don't worry, Mum. Loads, loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. Just pick an answer. The answer is singing. <sighs> Yesterday, I did an a cappella version of that orange juice song from the advert. It's doing serious numbers. You were right, Mum. I need to have a word with Lottie about that shaker. You're not going to tell her that I... Of course, she needs to know she can't trust you. She also needs to know that what she puts on her social media reflects on the family. It's not just her own reputation she's ruining. Question four. How many dance championships did I win as a kid? God, she loves herself. Baffles me where she gets it from. Dance championships. I can work this out. Lottie only danced between 10 and 14, and there was a dance competition every... What was it? Every four months. Now, Lottie would never ask this question if she'd ever lost a competition. So, four years, a dance competition every four months, 12 months in a year, and... Oh, shit, no-one in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. Is it 12? Just be quick about it. The answer is an unbelievable 12 wins. My coach begged me to keep dancing. He'd never seen anyone like me, but like 
I think I made the right call leaving to find a new challenge. New challenge? She broke a toe through a massive hissy fit and quit. Someone else can go now. I'm getting, like, really low on my social battery. Oh, thank God that's over. Oh, um, Mum, I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. OK. I am never teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally, the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. No, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun, right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering anymore, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Your mom's pretty tricky to talk to, but you did good, kid. I also have some new... Oh. News that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's take a look at what we have. Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <sighs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin, actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone player's tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right. And you have. Aged. What are we playing? I shall perform a recognisable melody and you must simply tell me the name of the piece or to make it easier for the slow ones, just tell me the name of the composer. So, we're playing Name That Tune then? Yes, Mother, if you like. Fancy being with me, June? There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean, it's one of my favourite things. Well, I might ask a few questions. Well, come along then. Let's get it over with. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini, Millicent millipede, multiply majestically, Millicent millipede, multiply majestically. Hey, Abs, you cool? Great. I'm going to be leaving a lot of this quiz to you, yeah? We're still in transit here. This is vital work. We can't stop. We've got to build these schools. And we can't risk coming across any of these militias either. And they're not the only danger in a place like this, you know? I wish there were more people like you, Toby. Oh, me too, Abs, me too. Is everyone listening? La 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 Can't hear that. Sorry, Ab. Sound keeps cutting out. Can you whistle it back to me? Uh, OK. Oh, I think it's Beethoven. Can't help you. Sorry, Abs. You got this one, yeah? Look, I don't want to lose this quiz again, so I'm counting on you. Hey, les yeux sur la route. Les yeux sur la route. Everything OK, Toby? Oh, yeah, there's just an old man on the road. He looks in pretty desperate shape. I'll tell the driver to, uh, to give him a bottle of water. Ooh. 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 Oh, I dread to think what would happen to these poor people if I wasn't out here risking my life to help them, you know? Uh, I'm... So proud of you, Hey, Toby. that's not why I'm here, but I appreciate it. So, uh, I, I think the answer is Beethoven. The what? The, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good to me. Well, now that we've finally got everyone's answers, the correct answer is, obviously, Beethoven's Transcendent Ode to Joy. Yes. 
Are they all going to be that easy? Now, the second piece is slightly trickier. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Oh, my God. Abs, something funny's going on with my screen. No, 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 I can see it too. I think she's accidentally switched on the filters. Oh, she's going to go Right, who did this? Speak up. Mum, I, I think you did it to yourself. There should be a button on your screen. <laughs> Not a word. You understand? Now send me your answers. I, I don't even remember what she was singing now. <laughs> I think it was Mozart, Abs. OK. The thing is, this kind of music, it's not necessarily my bag. No, I'm more interested in the authentic sounds of humanity. You know, music made by all the people that I meet. You know, real music. The music of life, the music of the earth, the music of truth. Well, you must have met some amazing people. Yeah, though to be fair, Abs, they also met me. And that's the beauty of cultural exchange. Great. <laughs> I once met a woman uh, in Nairobi who could take a wooden spoon. The answer I was looking for was, of course, Chopin's heroic polonaise. So anyway, she used to take the... Abby. <laughs> What are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Hundreds of the buggers. Um, they got into the tent. I've never seen so many frogs. So, uh, sorry, Toby, you were just breaking up then. Do you mind telling that story again? Now for an incredibly emotive piece. Do 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 la 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 I mean gotta be Mozart right maybe you know go with your instinct tabs I say Mozart but if you think something else then follow your path you know I think I know what it is mum insisted that we play it at my dad's funeral even though he really wanted Iron Maiden the thought of it really made him laugh just follow that path abs Follow it. OK, well, I'm pretty certain it's Beethoven. Cool with me, Abs. That was The Masterful Moonlight Sonata by Ludwig van Beethoven. Now, I must rest for at least a minute before singing again. Otherwise, I risk vocal damage. Talk amongst yourselves. What was the name of that last track again? It sounded really sad, like the kind of miserable shit that Bradley would listen to. Ah, oh, have you spoken to Bradley lately? Before the quiz or uh, at the meeting? No, I didn't chat. I saw him there, yeah. Yeah, I got to Mum's just before the meeting started, but I was busting for a wee. And, you know, if it was up to me, I would have just strolled outside and let rip, you know, because all the water in my body comes from the earth. So why not put it straight back? I mean, why do we have to put all these rules and limits on ourselves? Only defecate here. Only take your clothes off here. It's not natural. Uh, it's, what were you saying about Bradley again? Bradley? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so um, I ran upstairs to use the loo, and on the way I passed Bradley's room, and I heard these strange noises, like grunting and swearing. And so I tentatively shove open the door to his little incel wank dungeon, and he's in there and he's tearing it to shreds. I mean, he must have been looking for something. I, mean, I don't know what, I didn't ask, because, you know, well, I, I needed a wee. You know, who wants to know what's in Bradley's mind, right? Nightmare stuff. A very different emotional resonance to this next piece. No. Oh, actually, something feels sore. Better not risk it. Let's move on to the next round. Let someone else have a turn. Hey, good job, Abs. We're not a bad team. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, take care. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I wanted to ask you something. Uh, sure, shoot. I was just wondering about the family meeting. What did I miss? Uh, well, it was pretty tense. Yeah, what happened? Uh... I think Mum tried to kill Marcus. What? OK, kill's a bit strong. She definitely tried to wound him, though. She knocked a candle right onto him, nearly sent him up in flames. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I heard about that. I thought that was just because, you know, she was drunk. Uh, maybe. I mean, half the time she's a mess. But I think sometimes she's just playing up to it, you know? It gives her a good excuse to say whatever she wants. So you think she might have knocked that candle over on purpose? Before the meeting, 
Mum kept telling me it was time that Marcus faced the consequences. That's what she said. Consequences. I guess she took matters into her own hands. Oh, God, and the candle stank as well. Oh, I was like, this cannot be good for the planet. It was like she had it made out of pure CFCs or something. So, uh, what did... Listen, um... I'd love to chat, but I've got to eat something before the next round starts, yeah? Good talk. Yeah, uh... No worries. Fabulous birthday so far, Flig. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favourite. Hey, Abby! Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous, that they no, told me to Abby. stop or, or... Oh my God, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they gonna do to me? Abby, stop! <laughs> stop! What, <laughs> Marcus? Oh. Are you okay? It's getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. You're the only chance I got. <sighs> Please, Abby. Please. EK. Hey. <sighs> okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my round now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck-up. You, you ever speak to my daughter like that again oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop! I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. OK. We're going to expand some minds here, guys. <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity, look, just give me a chance and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby. The only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> Hi. And just like that, I've got a headache. Sorry. So we're going to mix things up here and we're going to be doing some of the workshops that I teach in the schools and I'll be awarding points for empathy. Oh, OK? Jesus Christ. That's not a quiz, No, Toby. it's so much more than that. This is an exercise where we can have fun and learn something. Just ask a question, Toby, like a normal person. Yeah, it doesn't really work like that. Toby, ask a fucking question. You've never supported me. <sighs> Toby. Oh, God, you know what? Just, no, wait there. You know, I... I knew you'd do this. Question one. As global temperatures continue to rise, will it lead to an increase or a decrease in precipitation? Just say rain, Toby, for Christ's sake. Just say rain. Just like his father. Complete, utter embarrassment. Shall we go with increase? Well, it's 50-50, Abigail. I'm sure you can handle it. The answer is increase. Things are only going to get worse, unless we act. Well, what a lucky guess. Congratulations, you have the equivalent brain power of a flipped coin. Thanks. Question two. Which greenhouse gas traps more of the sun's heat? Carbon dioxide or water vapour? Another 50-50. It's clearly as much as Toby's tiny mind can take. It just goes to show it can cause permanent damage having one's head permanently stuck up one's own arsehole. Well, guessing worked for me last time, so I'll go with carbon dioxide.
The correct answer, water vapour. See, I told you you'd learn something, guys. Have you always been this dim? Or am I just noticing it now? I mean, all that money your mother spent on your education, and here you are, guessing in a quiz. A quiz made up by Toby. It was a tough question. Question three. As a result of climate change, over 200 species of frog have gone extinct. And that's just since the 1970s. But what's the biggest threat that frogs face? I might not have to guess this one. I actually saw a documentary the other day. You watch documentaries about frogs? Yeah, I guess. Well, it was about a lot of different animals. Anyway, I think the answer is disease. Warmer yes, climates. Yes, yes, whatever. But if you ask me, the biggest danger frogs face is the French. So... Put something down, Abigail, before he moves on. The answer I was looking for was disease. Abby, the French, really? This is the 21st century, hmm? We left that kind of casual racism back in the 90s, OK? <laughs> Silly little girl, did you think I was serious? <laughs> Question four. What percentage of the world's coral reefs have died over the past 30 years? For God's sake, I've had enough of this. Toby. Are any of these questions going to be not depressing? I mean, normally just the sound of your voice is enough to make me want to end it all. It doesn't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry, Mum. What, you want me to do more stuff on the fun side of our planet dying? You know what? I really tried with this, but I can tell by the answers I'm getting that none of you are taking this seriously. So, you know, someone else can do around that. I don't care anymore. What a waste of time. Well done, Abigail. But Auntie June, I, I... I need to... Look, something terrible has happened to Uncle Marcus. Oh, what else shit is he coming out with now? So you got aliens <coughs> coming after him? Is that it? What? The thing you have to understand about your dear Uncle Marcus is that he's a nutter. Complete paranoid fantasist. Do you know, one year, he thought his business partner was trying to kill him. Yes, he was getting threats. Anonymous emails, anonymous. He's probably sending them to himself. So he got shutters put on all the windows, surveillance cameras everywhere. Do you know what happened? Nothing. Obviously. Your Uncle Marcus lost his marbles a very long time ago. He's dangerous. Don't trust a word he says. Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please, please. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't gonna follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby. It just doesn't make any sense. You you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! <laughs> Look. Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. 
Huh. I, I believe you. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. So, listen, I think some of the stuff Auntie June told me could really help us. <coughs> you okay? Fuck! No! I just spat out a bunch of fucking maggots! There's, there's nothing there. Fucking everywhere! Uncle Marcus, I I can't see any maggots. Fuck! Abby, get help! What? What the fuck is that? This fucking thing, Abby! It's choking me! There's, there's nothing there! What? There's no yeah. snake. It's really not there. Fuck. Fuck. Hallucinations have started, Abby. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. I better get back in there then. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm gonna be able to help you much longer. <coughs> Uncle Mark. <coughs> what is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. <sighs> good, good luck, kid. I guess this is it. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellar full. Look, nobody has anything ready. But I do. I have questions. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Hi, Toby. What was that? Uh, me? No, I thought I heard something outside the van. <sighs> I think we're okay. You can't be too careful with these militias. Of course not. OK, everybody, respectfully shut up and listen to me. Question one. How many times did Toby tell the school counsellor that I was neglecting oh, him? Oh, God, here we so go. So that we'd be forced into another family therapy session and he could get to see his dickhead father. I know this sounds bad, but I only had the idea after she actually neglected me. I told the counsellor that Mum forgot to cook me tea because she was so drunk, which was the truth. And he organised the first session. I mean, if she'd just let me see Dad in the first place, I wouldn't have had to lie about the rest. What happened to Uncle Marcus at the meeting? Just tell me everything. Why are you asking me? Ask your sister. She was the only one I saw alone with him, OK? She was putting something in his hand. I don't know what, but he looked pretty uncomfortable. So... For those of you that venture to answer, the correct answer is six times. All because I wouldn't let him see the man who cheated on me, who cheated on us for seven years. She's really gone over the edge. Question two. How many of my boyfriends has Felicity stolen? Now, I'm going to make it easier for you. Let's just count the ones while we were at school. <laughs> Jesus! Our mums are a nightmare, aren't they, Abs? I mean, that's why I'm so glad I had my dad. You know, he helped balance me out. He gave me my moral compass. Wasn't he done for tax fraud? Everyone makes mistakes, Abby. Dad was always there for me when I really needed him. Mm. You know, apart from that 18 months, of course. But he was better than a lot of dads I can think of. Well, 
Some of you clearly think very highly of Flick and rather less of me. Well, let me tell you. I had oodles of boyfriends. Felicity was just scavenging my scraps, but there were plenty of scraps to scavenge. You've got to think bigger. Did you see anyone else give something to Uncle Marcus? I don't know. Toby, tell me now. Uh, oh, uh, Felicity. I mean, you know, your mum. Yeah, she was um, offering things uh, for him to eat, you know, hors d'oeuvres, canapes, that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, I think he... I think he took one in the end just to shut her up. Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now, I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. It's okay, Abby. Whatever happens, happens. Just choose, please. Polonium 210. Thanks, kid. Okay. Bottoms up. who did this. I won't let you down again. <sighs> well, where the hell have you been? Which one of you did it? Abby, are you OK? Who? Did it. Abby, explain yourself. He's dead. He's fucking dead. Who... Who murdered Uncle Marcus? Who was it? Who... Who did it? Abby, love, calm down. No, no they did, they did, Nan. They fucking did it. Abby, cut this out now. Who's the fucking murderer? Right, that's enough. I warned you once. You fucking bastards! I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. You need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well if one of them's trying to kill you. OK, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. <sighs> oh, shit. Mum's calling me. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. See? Was that so hard? That felt weird. You know, your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. 
told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad left me the business and they would get my share only when they pried it from my cold, dead hands. I just kind of thought they'd wait a few years. <laughs> they would, they would never. You don't know that, Abby. Look, I've been having a lot of research done recently for my autobiography, and this family has got secrets, believe me. I wouldn't put anything past them. Well, I should really get to the quiz before mom kills me. That wasn't gonna be a joke. I know. You can do this. I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know what makes them tick, right? Use that to your advantage. What if I screw it up? Well, I am betting my life on that not happening. Okay, I'll try. I'll be here, listening, and I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby, find the poison, find the proof, find the killer. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is probably speaking with Lottie, Toby, or if you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. But Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first? No. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed? Hi, babe. You okay? Yeah, uh, fine, thanks, babe. So, did you go to the meeting? What? The, uh, <laughs> the meeting? The one that was at Auntie Jean's house? Oh, the family business thing. Yeah, I went to that. Oh, my God. So much drama. <laughs> really? What happened? Mum is raging about it. Before you came on, she said she didn't want to talk about it. And then she went off on Uncle Marcus for like a solid five minutes. Honestly, if this quiz doesn't go smoothly, I think she's gonna actually have a meltdown. Like she's so embarrassing when she's like that. I'm like, calm down, take a seat, keep your wig on. <laughs> Do you remember if you did a, a round at the last quiz? <laughs> no, babe, I cannot remember the last time I did a round. All I remember from last year is mum's meltdown about the food round. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine getting that worked up about the origin of balsamic vinegar? Well, you should do one. You'd be so good. Really? But, like, what would my subject be? Well, music. Like, about my music? <gasps> I could, like, quiz everyone on my lyrics. Well, yeah, that sounds really great. But maybe it would be a bit difficult for, like, Nan... Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. I could just do, like, a general quiz about me. That's fair, right? Or general questions about pop music? Oh, my God, this is going to be so awesome! <gasps> See how well you guys all know me? You follow me on Insta. If you love my content as much as you say you do, this should be easy! <gasps> okay, see you back in there, babe. Bye. <laughs> How was that? You did good, kid. You got her talking. You got this, Abby. Go find some answers. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, uh, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to. Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We... Pick a new team each round? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I've been better. 
You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring Daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. OK, ready? Question one. Grime legend Capsi recently described my debut track as thick. But what is the track called? Or is that too easy? Uh, no, I think it's okay. Let's start easy and see how we go. Oh, I completely zoned out of that. What was the question? Uh, what is Lottie's song called? Uh, songs from a strangulated cat. Ballad of a teenage narcissist, ho. <laughs> Actually, I do know what it's called. She's rammed it down our throats enough times. It's called... Vibe in it. Mm. What does that even mean? Sounds like a massage chair or a sex toy. Uh, well, a, a vibe is like a sort of a feeling. Don't patronise me. Sorry, I, I thought. Just that... ask the question. My first track is called That In It. <laughs> Not a single wrong answer there. Clearly a lot of fans on the floor tonight. <laughs> Your sister, Abigail, is an asshole. <laughs> Who does she get it from? Question two, Capsy loved my track so much. He had me guessed on his latest song. What's it called? That's something foreign, isn't it? Asian, the word's Asian. What? Just put that down before we run out of time. Asian. That's good enough. I, I'm pretty sure it's arigato. Well, what the hell is that? Thank you in Japanese. That's Asian. I said Asian. Japan's Asian, isn't it? Right. The answer is arigato. Christ, what a little rubbish. Uh, just give me a minute. I need to think of question three. She heard when at the meeting, just to see the look on your face. What do you mean? Oh, didn't your precious Uncle Marcus tell you? What? He burnt his hand. Poor lamb. Well, I burnt his hand, accidentally, but I rather wish I'd thought of it. What, what happened? Well, I had a little stumble and I knocked one of my candles, which landed on Marcus, and straight away his jumper just woof, up in flames. Now, quality clothing does not burn like that, so it just goes to show, doesn't matter how much money that man makes, he will never not be a cheap skate tight ass. Anyway, Toby claims he was just trying to douse the flames, so he threw his drink right in Marcus's face, nowhere near the flames. So then your mother threw her drink on him as well, which did put out the fire, which was Kind of a shame. But Marcus started wailing like a girl about his hand. He was in agony. So Lottie ran in with a wet rag and started rubbing it all over his burns. It was hilarious. So then your nan got involved and started bandaging his hand. And then Bradley came in with some painkillers. And the fun was sort of over really then, which was sort of sad. But, you know, if it had been just me, I'd have left him to it. But... He did look like he'd been dragged through a hedge backwards and forwards again. It's all really rather wonderful. Question three. According to a recent poll from my fans, what is my greatest strength? Oh, right. Now, so this is the bit when she starts bragging about her singing voice, isn't it? Actually, I think Lottie might think greatest strength means something else. Like what? I think she means her eyebrows. I mean... Why are we even playing along with this? These aren't questions. She's just manipulating us into giving her praise and compliments. It is pathetic. I do honestly think she'll say her eyebrows. The answer is obviously my eyebrows. Good Lord, she's worse than I thought. I was really surprised when my fan said that, you know, I was like, what about my legs or like my teeth or my eyes? And they were like, oh yeah, we love them all too, but like, it's really hard to pick a favorite. And I was like, yeah, there. Oh, 
sweet succulent hell is she talking about? Okay, so question four. How many times has dad taken me to Dubai? Oh, Christ. That waste of space. Honestly, you should have seen him run for the hills the second Lottie was born. Couldn't see him for dust. Now it's one holiday a year and he thinks he's best daddy in the world. Still, I suppose most affair babies are just forgotten about, aren't they? So I should give him a tiny bit of credit for that. But you're bloody glad he's not your dad, aren't you? I guess so. Oh, come along, Abigail. It is very sad that your daddy died, but, but it's been years now. But I just had to get over it when my daddy died. No moping about for me. And do you know the answer to this or not? I can work it out. Can you now? Yeah, Lottie went to Dubai for the first time for her sixth birthday. I remember it because um, she was really scared, so I made her this lucky charm necklace to wear on the plane for good luck. Anyway, my point uh, is that if she first went to Dubai for her sixth birthday, she's been doing the same thing every year since. Lottie's now 19. With a simple bit of maths... 13. Put that down. Well, I was going to say 14. Yes, well, you're not exactly Carol Vorderman, are you? So just put the answer in. I'm sorry, but the answer's definitely 14. What are you doing? So, the answer is 14 times. Oh, I love it so much. Well, I'd say well done, but I think you both know that was more luck than judgement. Right, that's all the questions I've got. Someone else can go now. She's only done four questions. At least we got a few points that round. I don't know why I even do these things. I mean, I don't care about winning, although I do quite like beating people. Still, a few more of these, and it'll be wiped from my memory like tears in the rain. What's that from? Is it from a film? Oh, Christ, it's not one of Lottie's lyrics, is it? God, I better forget that. It is better to forget things. It just makes life easier. Are you OK? You do know there's something wrong with your sister, don't you? What? Just in general? No, I'm or... just saying, she's behaving very oddly at the meeting. You know, all night, checking her phone up and down to the window. I, I, I don't know what she was looking for, or who, but all night, just up and down, up and down. A bit like your mother's skirt when she was a teenager. I mean, normally I wouldn't have noticed, or, or cared. But they were my windows she was breathing all over. And it did take Bradley a very long time to clean them. Is there anything else you remember about? The meeting? Anything at all? No. Thanks. I am never teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally, the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. Well, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun, right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering any more, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Speaking with your Auntie June is like trying to charm a rattlesnake. <laughs> but I think we got some useful stuff. I also have some new... Oh. oh, news that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's check out everything that we have so far. Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <sighs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. 
two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin, actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone player's tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right, and you have. Aged. What are we playing? I shall perform a recognisable melody and you must simply tell me the name of the piece or to make it easier for the slow ones, just tell me the name of the composer. So, we're playing Name That Tune then? Yes, Mother, if you like. Fancy being with me, June? There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean, it's one of my favourite things. Well, I might ask a few questions. Well, come along then. Let's get it over with. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini, Millicent millipede multiplied majestically. Millicent millipede multiplied majestically. Hey Bradley, how are you? Uh, who's that on your T-shirt? What, you've never heard of Keith Wilson Keys before? Should I? Yeah, he killed six people in one weekend. Medford, Oregon, 1997. They called him the Beaver State Cleaver Killer. You, yeah, you no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, him. He's a... he's a good one. I didn't realise that they put serial killers on T-shirts. No, 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 he's, he's not... he's not a serial killer. He's a spree killer. And, uh... Yeah, you can get a lot more than this if you know where to look. Everyone be quiet and listen carefully to the first piece. La 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 La. Shall I go with Beethoven then? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I know Beethoven died in a thunderstorm and you can still visit his grave, so... Um... Well, I'll just go for him then. Yes, a pretty straightforward one to start. That was the sumptuous Furalese by the magnificent Beethoven. Piece number two. La 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 Mum really got into that one, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, she did. Do you know it? Uh, I don't know the name, but it sounds like one of the ones your mum played the other night. Why do people listen to happy music when they're not even happy? It just makes you feel worse, you know? Did you mean uh, mum played this at the meeting? I think so. <laughs> Abby, what are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Uh, you muted me and I wasn't even saying anything. What were you looking at? Nothing. I'm fine. Uh, what were we talking about? Nothing. Right, yeah. No, wait, you were uh, saying that Mum played this song at the meeting. I mean, uh, how was the meeting? When everyone was really angry, um... We lost he was acting strange too. She she's got two phones now. One of them looked to me like a burner phone. Do you know what that is? I think so. It's private. It's untraceable. You know, handy if you're trying to get hold of someone or something that you don't want anyone else to know about. Now, I never thought Lottie would choose something like that. It's not the kind of phone that takes photos. Maybe someone gave it to her. Did you see anything else? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. This next piece is so obvious, I considered not doing it. But for some reason, it's been going round in my head. Perhaps this will get it out of my system. La, 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 la. Oh, I can never remember the name. Funeral March. It's Funeral March by Chopin. It's one of my favourites. Right, yeah. 
It's a, it's a good one. La, 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 la. That piece was the incredibly moving Funeral March by Chopin. I already know what I'm doing for my fourth piece, so be quiet. No! Oh, no, no. The humidity's changed. I can't sing in this. I could sprain something. Let's move on to the next round. I was surprised you weren't at the meeting. Aren't you Uncle Marcus's biggest cheerleader? Uh, yeah, no, I, I really wanted to be there. It was just... there was this thing at work and... You should have been there. He needed you. What are you saying? Everybody else hates him. The whole family, apart from you. I mean, my mum spends most of her time thinking about how much she hates him. So after too many drinks, she starts rambling about him, talking about how he's ruined Grandad's legacy, how a company should have come to her or your mum. <laughs> At once, <laughs> when it was really bad, she asked me if I knew how to hire a hitman. She thought maybe I'd know something from the black internet. <laughs> like, she meant dark web. Obviously. I asked her why she wanted to know, and she just said she saw it in a film once. And, uh, yeah, it was the last time she mentioned it, at least to me. Bradley, do you know something? I don't know. Maybe. Bradley, what? Oh, shit. <sighs> Fabulous birthday so far, Flig. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favourite. Hey, Abby. Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous. They no, told me to Abby. stop or... or... Oh my God, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they gonna do to me? Abby, stop it, <laughs> stop! What, <laughs> Uncle Marcus? <laughs> are you okay? It's getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. You're the only chance I got. Please, Abby. Please. Okay. Okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my round now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew. No. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck up. Would you, you ever speak to my daughter like that again? Oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop. I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not I mean, you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds here, guys. <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity, look, just give me a chance and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby, the only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> How's it going, Mum? How do you think? Good? Bad. Very bad. This quiz has been a disaster so far. But I'm getting to the end of this round, no matter what. Well, it's just nice to do something on your birthday. Is it? Well, none of us would be here if it wasn't for you. No. No, you wouldn't. OK. Listen up, guys. We're doing what I like to call empathy scenarios. It's kind of quiz, kind of a workshop type thing. So I'm going to give you a scenario and you can score points by how well you empathise, OK? That doesn't make any sense. Show me the empathy. <laughs> OK. First scenario, picture this. Imagine that you're humble people. 
I know that's a pretty hard ask for some people in this family. So, you're humble people. You've lived in the same tiny fishing village your entire lives. And you're facing the twin threats of globalization and climate change. Is that it? I think so. What's the question? Remember, guys, we're looking for empathy here. Points for empathy. Oh, how am I supposed to just conjure up empathy? I have no idea. Is it a charades type thing? Are we supposed to act it out? Yes, Mum, that, that must be it. You're, you're a genius. Well, he wants a performance, I'll give him a performance. But if I humiliate myself and Toby still makes me lose this bloody quiz... Empathy. Nodding. Nodding. Is, is that empathy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you're going to be awesome at this, Mum. You're an amazing actor. I know. Although why Toby can't just do a normal bloody round, I don't know. He's been all over the shop recently. Well, mentally, I mean. Oh, really? Yeah. It was off his head at the meeting. I overheard him talking to himself in the toilets. You have to do this. You can do this. I mean, it gives me no pleasure to say this at all, but I do worry that he might be hitting the sauce like his mother. Relate to this. Rising sea temperatures mean the fish you seek have moved further away from the coast into dangerous waters, unsailable waters. Your livelihood is literally abandoning you. How does that make you feel? Come on, really exist as these people. <sighs> Fine. Oh my God, Mum, are you okay? <laughs> What on earth are you doing? Wow, Auntie Felicity, that... Yes. That's actually really patronising. These people are far braver, have far more resilience than you could ever imagine. They would never give up. They would face any danger for their families, for their way of life, yeah? Let's mix things up and bring this a little closer to home. No. This is supposed to be a quiz, not a fucking TED talk. Either ask a proper question or... Go snog a tree. So, let me get this straight. What you're saying is, is that you lack the basic human decency to understand another person's struggle, yeah? Shut up, Toby. <laughs> there are other people in the world beside you. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we here for Hilda the Fisherwoman's birthday? Well, no, but... Toby, let me stop you there. You... Is the next thing you're going to say a question? An actual question? The kind of thing you'd get in a quiz. I've got a different scenario about mating turtles. No, I'm sorry, Toby, you've had your chance. I You're am done. doing a problem. Another disaster? Why do I even bother? I try to do something nice, something selfless for this family. I know, Mum. I know, Mum. Is that your total contribution? Christ, Abby, oh! Let me get a word in. Wait, wait, <laughs> Mum, I, I need to tell you something. Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. I'm not interested. No, but he's... The man's a liar, Abby. I always hoped you wouldn't fall for it, and perhaps I should have done something when you were younger, but it wasn't easy for me either. After your father died, I thought, oh, if you want to turn to Uncle Marcus and not me, perhaps I should let you. Either you realise what it was like, or... Mum, what are you talking about? You really don't see it, do you? He's paranoid, Abby. Deceitful, always painting himself as the good guy, the victim. A few years ago, he thought a business partner was trying to kill him. He was sent all these threatening emails, anonymous emails. Wouldn't surprise me if Marcus was the one writing them. What? He went mad. He bought a gun, he bought a guard dog. It was all bullshit. Completely in his head. No, I, I don't, I don't understand. It's he... all an act, Abby. Don't get sucked in. I... Q. 
Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please, please. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't gonna follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You, you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! Look, Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I, I believe you. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. Okay, so listen, I think I managed to get some useful stuff from Mum. Are you okay? How many spiders do you see on my hand? What? Just answer the question. I, I, I don't see any spiders. Fuck. Shit, did you see that? No, I, I, I'm fucking crude here. Ah, it's going from my eye. I, I, I can't see anything. There's nothing there. Are you sure? Yeah. The hallucinations have started then. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. I better get back in there then. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm gonna be able to help you much longer. <coughs> Uncle Mark. <Marcus. coughs> what is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. Good luck, good luck, kid. I guess this is it. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellar full. Look, nobody has anything ready, but I do. I have questions. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'm a delight. Oh, hello, love. Hi. Heaven help us with your Auntie June doing around. <laughs> Question <laughs> one. Who stole my car when he was 14 and drove it into the side of a bus stop? Oh, crikey, which one was that now? It, it was Toby, wasn't it? Some protest or something. Wait, no. Was that with a quad bike?
Nan, I, I need you to tell me everything you remember about the meeting. Oh, love, it was a load of fuss about nothing. I really need to know what happened. Mm. So... Hush now, we're missing the quiz. The carjacker was Bradley. Mm -hmm. My son stole my car and everybody said it was my fault, even though I'd only asked him to reverse it into the drive. Anyway, say lovey. Question two. What is the point? Oh, no. That's what I want to know. What is the fucking point? Nan, is Auntie June OK? She's got a lot going on. You know how she is. She can be reckless. She doesn't really care about looking after herself or anyone else. Ever since her dad, it, you know, ever since then, she's had an awful temper, a violent temper. She was forever getting into fights at school and after school. I, I tried my best, but... Nan, do you think Auntie June could ever hurt someone? I mean, seriously hurt someone? Nan, please, if, the, if there's something that you're not telling me, if you saw something at the meeting... I didn't see anything at the meeting, but... But what? I, I'm just thinking about your Auntie June. Has your mother ever told you about what she did when she was at university? No. One day, she came home early and overheard the girls she was living with making fun of her in the kitchen. That same night, June offered to cook them all a meal. She cut up tiny bits of raw chicken and mixed them in. Well, she gave them all such bad food poisoning that one girl nearly died. When they told June she could have killed someone, all she said was, yes, that was the point. Thankfully, the girls never pressed charges and the university threw June out, but as far as they were concerned, that was the matter resolved. I, I know she's my daughter, but it frightens me sometimes what that girl could be capable of. Well, this is taking ages. So the answer I was looking for is... Hang on, what was the question? Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now, I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. It's okay, Abby. Whatever happens, happens. Just choose. Please. It's Thallium. If you say so, kid. <sighs> chin chin. Finish this thing. I, I can do this. Abby, where have you been? Oh, she's doing it for attention. Be quiet, June. 
Are you okay, love? You're gonna have to speak up, Abs. There's some pretty heavy rain here. Is she frozen? No, if you look closely at her throat there, you can see she's still breathing. Ah, uh, this, this is life. Shut up. What was that? Just shut up, all of you! Abby, if I were you, I'd think very... Lottie? What, babe? I know what you did at the meeting. I just... I don't know why. I don't know what you're talking about, babe. Look, it's over, Lottie. Just tell the truth. I am... Lottie, what's going on? It was only a bit of coke. Excuse me. What? Just for some extra cash on the side. And my supplier is like really legit. So I'm only ever selling the pure stuff. So I'm basically doing my friends a service. I wasn't even supposed to be at the meeting. There was a super huge party going on and everyone was looking to me for the, you know. The drugs. Yeah, exactly right. I couldn't just let them down. So a friend came over and collected the stuff. I only came to the meeting because I wanted to see Uncle Marcus to give him my audition tape. Sent him like a million links and he's never replied, so I assume the guy must be pretty analog. I'd be great for one of his movies, wouldn't I? But you, you poisoned him. Lottie, have you been selling your sister LSD? No, I only do coke, all natural. Uncle Marcus was poisoned at the meeting and it has to be you. Babe, why would I want to kill the guy who's gonna put me in his movie? It doesn't make any sense. Shit. Shit. It wasn't you. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, the quiz is over, right, guys? Lottie, what's going on? Um, I've got to go. Who's at your door? Right, it's not a fucking on. Um, it, it, friends. Friends? Uh, yeah, we play this game where they, uh, try to my door down and I hide. Lottie! We're done here, right? Awesome quiz, guys. Happy birthday, Mum. Gotta go. Bye! Abby, you better start explaining all this right now. I really don't think I can. You need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby, ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. Oh, sorry. Hi, Mom. Any particular reason you're making me wait on my birthday? Sorry, Mum, I'm, I'm just getting ready. I don't ask for much, Abby, but I do ask that you respect the family. Family is everything to me. As your grandfather, God rest his soul, used to say, there's me and there's you. And the family's the glue. Ah, oh, you remember it. Well, I suggest you start acting like it. Yes, Mum. Hurry up. Wow, you're right. You really needed to answer that. Well, I should really get to the quiz before Mum kills me. That wasn't meant to be a joke. I know. You can do this. I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know what makes them tick, right? Use that to your advantage. What if I screw it up? Well, I am betting my life on that not happening. OK, I'll try. I'll be here, listening. <clears throat> I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby, find the poison, find the proof, find the killer. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is probably speaking with Lottie, Toby, 
If you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. But Mama, uh, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first? No. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed? <sighs> Hi, Toby. Yeah, you're gonna have to speak up, Babs. Traffic in these war-torn places is gonna be pretty heavy. But you know me, I'll do anything for a good cause. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yeah, Abs, you're gonna have to repeat that. Uh, no, I was just, I was just oh, saying... Matt, this traffic is crazy. Who are you helping now, Toby? The people of Earth. Same as always. Of course. Just doing what I was born to do. Anything specific? Yeah, we're looking at areas to build a new school. But the area we're looking at is thick with militia. That's the risk you take when you're helping people divided by civil war. Oh, wow, that sounds really scary. <sighs> Trust me, Abs, you take your life into your own hands coming out here, but it's just something I've got to do, you know? You're amazing, Toby. <laughs> I'm just doing what I can. I love to help. It's who I am. Well, can you go first on the quiz? No, no, I want people to be warmed up before I do my round. Hey, has your sister ever done a round? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty um... sure that she hasn't. Now, fairness is important to me, Abs. That's how everyone wants to be treated. Yeah, it's time that Lottie gave something back to this family. OK, then. It's OK, just, just show him our papers, yeah? OK, look, I, I've got to go, Abs. There's a checkpoint up ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. How was that? That was good. You got him talking. I'd say you nailed it. Now let's get back to the quiz. One of you start before I say something I'll regret. Well, actually, I won't regret it. You will. Lottie, I think it's your turn to go. You haven't, you haven't done one in a while. Haven't I? Fine, I'll go. I haven't thought of anything for my round, though. Is that going to be a problem? Oh, get on with it. OK. I'll just do whatever questions come to mind. They'll mostly be about me, though. Everyone pick your teams, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to. Sorry, going to have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't hear anything. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teams? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We... Pick a new team each round? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably some doomed attempt to make things fair or <laughs> avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> Are you OK? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Oh, I'm not starting with Mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you getting through that bottle has nothing to do with Mum. Girls, behave yourselves. What would your father say if he saw you like this? Why do you have to bring Daddy into everything? I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. June started it. Hello, my gorgeous girl. How are you, love? I'm OK, thanks, Nan. How are you? Oh, don't worry about me. Same as usual. How's work, love? Um, Met anyone recently? Uh, when am I seeing you next? Uh, question one... We'll finish our chat later, love. I was recently interviewed by fashion icon Jani O oh for her YouTube channel. In that interview, I bravely revealed my biggest fear. What is it? Crikey. Well, she used to hate spiders, didn't she? Or was that you? Actually, and now I think of it, that might have been Bradley. <laughs> Which one of you was petrified of geese? Lottie is definitely scared of spiders, but she's kind of had this weird fear for a while about going bold. What a silly girl. Although I don't know if she'd admit that in the interview. 
Or in this quiz. I wish she was more like you, Abby, love. <laughs> She's been spoiled by her father too much. That's her problem. Let's go with spiders. The correct answer is... Spiders. Oh, you know, it's actually really hard for me to talk about this. Oh, dear. Question two is, in that same interview with Jani O, oh, she asked me, what is my greatest achievement to date? This might be kind of easy for some of you, but I guess I'll figure out who actually watched the interview, won't I? Did you watch it, love? Yeah, I meant to. Oh, dear. Well, she was really happy when she grew old enough to drink. Maybe that's it. Nan? Can I ask you something? Of course, love. So the answer is being interviewed by Jani O. Oh, what else could I say? She is an icon. What happened at the meeting the other night? You know what it's like, love. This family loved to bicker. Did you notice anything different? Well, I've never seen your Auntie June drink so much. <laughs> and that's saying something. She seemed far more anxious about the meeting than she normally is. I don't know what she was expecting. I mean, your mother was planning to tell Marcus that she wanted to buy him out. But before everything started, June said to me that it was going to be the end of the road for Marcus. She can't have thought he'd give up his share in the family business that easily. OK, I still don't have question three yet, so just, like, I don't know, chill. I'll let you know. Was the meeting mostly arguments? Like usual. It was a bit of a disaster, to be truthful. Your Auntie June knocked one of her huge candles right into Marcus's lap. Awful smell it was. Don't know why anyone would want that in their home. She must have to light another candle to get rid of the stench. Toby threw his drink over Marcus to put the flames out, but it didn't work. So your mother had to throw another drink over him. Thankfully, that worked. But then Marcus said he burned his hand. Fair play to Lottie. She was the quickest to react. She got a cold cloth and put it on the wound. And Bradley got some painkillers for Marcus. Then what would have done without those kids? Oh, this is a good one. OK. Question three, I recently modelled in the publicity campaign for which product? Gosh, any ideas, love? Yeah, I, th I think it's this makeup brand. Well, sort of. She's, she's been spamming her followers with emails about it. I signed up to a mailing list as a favour. Regretting it now, I bet. A little bit, yeah. Lottie keeps trying to make me get an email, but I'm not falling for it. This bald bloke on BBC One keeps going on about how the internet is essentially a giant scam. <sighs> what was the question? Some, something about makeup? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called Dark Genie Virtual Eyeshadow. Virtual? What does that mean? Basically, it's kind of like a, a filter that you pay for and um, you superimpose your photo with this eyeshadow, but it doesn't really exist. Well, except for as this virtual brand. Anyway, it makes you look like you're wearing this, like, glittery, magical eyeshadow. Sorry, Abby, you've lost me. I think I lost me too. Shall I just answer it? The answer is Dark Genie Virtual Eyeshadow. Trust me, it's the future. I can wear whatever I want and I never have to wash my face. And everyone on my mailing list is entitled to 10% off their first purchase. But the offer ends this month, so hurry quick. Shall I get some? <laughs> Question four, guys. So which famous musician recently DM'd me for a hookup? What's a hookup? I really don't want to say sex thing, is it? <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a clue, but he was staying at the Hilton and he asked me to meet him in his car. <laughs> Apparently that's like his thing. Lottie, do you think this is at all appropriate for a family occasion? You think your nan wants to hear this? I don't mind. She's only young. Let her have her fun. This kind of behaviour is unbecoming to our family, Lottie. No one's saying you're not entitled to a sex life, but you shouldn't be shouting about it. Your mother's just jealous, Lottie, because her sex life's about as active as the surface of the moon. And you're just batting them away, aren't you, June? <laughs> You've probably dried up down there. Girls, you're embarrassing yourselves now. Honestly, I don't care. Someone else can have a go. At least I tried. 
Oh, well, that's a shame. I thought we made a good team. Yeah, me too. It's been lovely talking to you, love. I don't hear much of the grandkids anymore. Well, apart from Toby, he's been phoning me a few times recently. A funny thing, he, he barely says a word, but I can tell by his voice he's been crying. It's like he wants to say something really important and then he just asks me how I am and says bye. Hope he's okay. Y you'll tell me if he says anything to you, won't you, love? Yeah, yeah, of course I will. Well, I'd best pop to the ladies' room before it all starts up again. Bye, love. Bye, Nan. I am never teaming up with that freak again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally, the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. No, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun, right? There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering anymore, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Your grandma sure loves to talk, but it wasn't all meaningless. Plus, I have some news that... Oh! 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 That could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's check out everything that we have so far. Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. <sighs> Look, I'll do my round. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the classics. Gold! Spandau Ballet. One point to me. No, I mean the true classics. No, true! That's another one. Two points to me. I'm talking about Mozart, Bach, Chopin, actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone player's tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right. And you have. Aged. What are we playing? I shall perform a recognisable melody and you must simply tell me the name of the piece or to make it easier for the slow ones, just tell me the name of the composer. So we're playing Name That Tune then? Yes, Mother, if you like. Fancy being with me, June? There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean, it's one of my favourite things. Well, I might ask a few questions. Well, come along then. Let's get it over with. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini, Millicent millipede, multiply majestically, Millicent millipede, multiply majestically. Hey, babe. Hi, Lottie. Are you OK? Just trying to figure out what I should wear for my live stream tonight. Don't know if I should wear a vermilion or cerulean. I'd wear a vermilion, 100%. You would? I'll wear a cerulean. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Everyone listening? Good. <clears throat> la, 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 la. La 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 I mean, la, la, I recognise it, but I, la, la, I don't know Bach, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. La, la, la. Oh, easy. Yes, that was quite an easy one. Bach, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Now, let me have a little think about what I'm going to do next. <laughs> How did you know that? Don't you remember? Mum used to play it all the time when we were kids. She even put it on at the meeting. It's like her hype song. Uh, she did? <laughs> yeah. She said something about it helping her gird her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just trying to drown out the sound of all the arguments, to be honest. Well, nice one, babe. Thanks, babe. Oh my God, you missed a mad one the other night. Did I? Yeah. 
like so much random stuff happened. I was speaking to Auntie June and she said she had this like big horrible smelling candle made especially for the meeting and she called it something weird too like closure. That is weird. I know, like if you're gonna have something specially made for the meeting, at least make it something we can all enjoy. Like, what's wrong with Peter? Okay, I know what I'm doing for my next piece. Yeah, I really don't know. Lit's Hungry Rhapsody number two. Is it? A Hungarian Rhapsody number two, yeah, that's it. Wow, okay, thanks. And that answer was clearly the charming Hungarian Rhapsody number no. two by the original rock star, Franz Liszt. I knew it. Uh, now give me a moment while I think about my next piece. Abby, what are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Where did you go? What? Are you okay, hon? You look all like frowny. Don't you worry about getting lines? No. Uh, yes. Um. Sorry. Don't apologise to me, babe. Apologise to your skin. Oh, yeah, will do. Thanks. So, um, do you remember anything else about Auntie June at the meeting? Same old pisshead. Right. She really hates Uncle Marcus, though. Everything he said seemed to make her blood boil. That hatred goes way back to, like, when they were kids. Like, seriously, every time Marcus said something, Auntie June would get up and start pacing the room to try and chill out. Right, I'm starting my next piece now, whether you're ready or not. Oh my god! Did you do that? No, I think she's pressed something. Oh my god, this is the thing I've ever seen. I'm putting this on my. Who did this? Uh oh. Speak up! Mom, I think you put a filter on accidentally. <laughs> Answers now. I uh, can't even remember what she did. <laughs> oh wait, two seconds. Uh, uh, Mozart, Rondo alla Tarka. How do you know all of these? That was Mozart's Rondo alla Tarka. I need a moment to consider my next piece. This is it's really great, Lottie. I had no idea that you knew so much about classical music. Oh, yeah, I love it, hon. Love it. That last one used to be my ringtone when I was a kid. I just like listened to it over and over and over. Oh, yeah, totally. Just don't tell anyone, yeah? Yeah, of course, duh. <laughs> Right, well, let's not waste any more time. Oh, oh, Christ, I think I've strained something. Oh, you, this, none of this is worth me doing any serious damage to my voice, not even a mild twitch. <laughs> Someone else can do their round now. Oh, my God, that was actually so much fun. Yeah, I'm kind of gutted I missed the meeting now. Seemed like it was pretty entertaining. Oh, it wasn't all that. What happened? Bradley being Bradley, as usual, he's like a weird little kid who's like always trying to gross you out. Except this time he was like pissed off with me over nothing. What was he mad about? Has he ever shown you his collection? No, but he has offered. Oh my God, don't do it. I asked him about it like once and now he's obsessed with updating me every single time he gets a new piece of, whatever you call it, murderabilia. What stuff did he show you? Dead mouse in a jar, a knife someone used to slit their throat and like this thing he said was a shrunken head. Ugh, anyways, he was pissed off because he thought he lost something. I don't know what, but he was like really freaking out and he was scared I'd taken it. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder what he'd lost. He was like really excited to show me these two poisons. He said they were extremely deadly and like super illegal. Poisons? Yeah, he must have been like freaking out he'd get caught. Lottie, do you remember the name of these poisons? <laughs> God, no. Actually, I think he sent me an email about it. What? Yeah, I guess I wasn't impressed enough, so he had to like prove to me how deadly they were. <laughs> I never even read it. Please tell me that you still have that email. Who deletes emails, babe? They're like made of air. Lottie, can you send me that email, please? 
Babe. Oh, I really need to set Bradley to spam. <laughs> Here you go. Holy shit. Oh god, I just remember the half decomposed sheep skull he showed me. <laughs> Not. I. Fabulous birthday so far, Flig. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favorite. Hey, Abby. Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous, that they no, told me to Abby. stop or, or, oh my God, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they gonna do to me? Abby, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> what, uh, Marcus? Uh, are you okay? Getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. You're the only chance I got. <sighs> Please, Abby. Please. EK. Okay. okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my run now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool new spin on how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck-up. You, you ever. Speak to my daughter like that again, oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop! I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds here, guys. <laughs> hey, Auntie Felicity, look, just give me a chance, and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby. The only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I've got a clever one on my team. You're the clever one, Nan. <laughs> Don't be daft. <laughs> OK, everyone concentrating, yeah? This is... It's a little bit different to your typical quiz round. I like to call these empathy exercises. Now, I'll give you a scenario, and you have to relate to that scenario with empathy. Huh? Sounds simple, right? Well, I don't know what he's on about. Great, let's go. Now, imagine you're very poor. You're 12 years old, and you're getting up before sunrise because you have to walk eight miles to get to school. What's going on? Who's walking to school? And, and how far did he say? Eight miles? Well, why don't they just catch the bus? The school must run one. I've got no idea what he's doing. Sounds like he's going into a bit of a lecture. He loves a sermon, our Toby. <laughs> now, this little boy's feet are bleeding, swollen to the... the... Uh, but I, I can't hear a word he's saying. I muted him. You'll have to teach me how to do that. I think it could come in very handy. I'm, I'm sorry that I, I haven't been round to see you in a while. Oh, don't worry, love. I get updates off your mother. Well, when she can be bothered to check up on you. I was hoping I might see you at the meeting, but I think you made the right choice keeping away. Sounds like I did. Awful it was, love. I don't know how much you've already heard, but there was trouble all over the shop. Even Toby, Mr. Peace and Love, he lost it. I was getting myself a drink in the kitchen and he burst in, in a world of his own, furious with your Uncle Marcus, saying something about how he'd left him no choice. What does that mean? He wouldn't tell me. Do you think we should switch him back on before he notices? <sighs> Probably. 
And after all that, he's taken, kidnapped by a militia. Can you even comprehend? What a load of nonsense. Abby, Nan, are you concentrating? I haven't had a single response from you yet. What do I say, love? Sh shall I just do a thumbs up? Will that help? We're just discussing the kidnapped boy. OK, what are your thoughts? Nan was saying that it's an incredibly sad situation, but there are so many factors at play, you know, uh, political instability and um, extreme poverty. Wait, Nan said that? Yes. Nan? Yeah. Said that? She did. I mean, maybe not in those exact words. Do you think this is funny, Abby? Huh? Is that what everyone else thinks too, huh? You all think that this is a joke? What do the others say, love? Probably <sighs> yes. You know, I should have known that an exercise like this would be a waste of time on this family. No emotional intelligence at all. You should all be ashamed. Well, someone else do their round so Toby will shut up. No, that's not fair. I want to do a round. No. But it's my turn. No. Listen, love, before I go, th there's one thing I've been meaning to ask you. Uh, has your mother spoken to you about your Uncle Marcus lately? No. Why? The, the day of the meeting. It, it, your mother asked us all to get to the house early, before your Uncle Marcus got there. She told us... How did she put it? She wanted him out of the way. Uh, she was asking us all there to see if we'd support her in a move to take over the company, to take it off Marcus. Your mum wants to buy him out, but she can't meet his price. I think he's asking for too much just to annoy her. And obviously the company means a lot to him because of his dad. I, I know you try to stay out of all this financial stuff, but the company is for all of us, love. That's how your grandfather wanted it. I know. I think we best get back for the next round. Nan, wait a second. I, I need to tell you something. I knew there was something wrong. What on earth is it? Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. Bad? Well, what do you mean? Someone's hurt him. Someone's Oh, Abby, tried love. To... He's not going on about that again, is he? About what? That bloke he said was threatening him. What? Well, it was a few years ago now. Marcus had a bit of trouble with an old business partner. Marcus thought he was trying to kill him. What? Got in a right state over it. Said the bloke was threatening him, sending him violent emails. Well, because the emails were anonymous, so any bloody one could have been sending them. Apparently, he didn't leave his house for months. He was absolutely convinced someone was trying to kill him. Well, nothing happened, of course. If you ask me, he made the whole thing up. He has got a very active imagination, after all. I can't believe he never told you. You're very close, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. I wonder why he kept it from you. Abby? No, I, I'm fine, honestly. Thank, thank you for telling me. Are you going to be all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Right, then. See you for the next round. <laughs> Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please, please. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't gonna follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You, you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now 
Now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! Look, Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never gonna know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? Just know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I, I believe you. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. So I think some of the stuff that Nan said um, helps us. Are you okay? Do you hear that? Hear what? The rats, they're running all over my floor. I can't hear anything. Fucking worms, ah! Oh, what? They're crawling down my neck, Abby. Uh, I, I can't see anything. What? There's nothing there. Are you sure? Yeah. The hallucinations have started then. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. I better get back in there then. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm gonna be able to help you much longer. <coughs> <coughs> Uncle Mark. <laughs> what is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. I guess this is it. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellarful. Look, nobody has anything ready, but I do. I have questions, lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Bradley, we need to talk. About what? Question one. Which one of Flick's little brats threw up all over my car? Well, that was you, wasn't it? Mum still talks about it. She still thinks she can smell it. She's had, like, eight cars since then. <laughs> Bradley, you have to tell me everything that happened at the meeting. Well, nothing unusual, just, like, loads of arguments. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, it's just so weird. You're lying. What? What am I lying about? The answer is Abigail. Disgusting child. What are you not telling me, Bradley? I mean, you're mental, Abby. You Seriously, you're crazy. I, I don't understand. You have poisons, don't you? Was it you? I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me the truth right fucking now. <sighs> OK, let me explain. I have two poisons. Oh, my but... God, it's actually true. Yeah, but listen to me. One of them went missing. At least I think so. It's just that... It's just what? <sighs> one second. Bradley. One second. What right. is that? This is polonium-210, OK? It's, it's, it's one of the poisons that I lost. It wasn't where I thought I put it, but, but it was somewhere safe. Hasn't been opened, right? It's just probably just misplaced the other one as well, somewhere. W one of the poisons is still missing? Yeah, but... Who knows about the poison, Bradley? Like, how, how many people know where you kept them? I don't know. You're lying. I'm not lying. I don't know. Question two. Which 
birthday was Flick celebrating when she lured me into the attic and locked me in so I couldn't attend. Look, if you think they were taken, then someone must have known about them. Just tell me the fucking truth. OK, look, Toby knows where I keep my stuff and I've shown them to Lottie before. Who else? Who else? No, this is stupid. She, she wouldn't. Who? Who are you talking about, Bradley? I like to get up early for, for walks. Sometimes. Really early, like before the sun comes up, when no one's around. But on the morning of the meeting, when I got back, I saw Nan it was just like in my room, just like standing there. And uh, she looked really, really flustered when she saw me. But she was only in there to talk about mum's drinking. Nan. Abby, I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. It's Thallium. If you say so, kid. Abby, where have you been? Oh, she's doing it for attention. Be quiet, June. Are you OK, love? You're going to have to speak up, Abs. There's some pretty heavy rain here. Is she frozen? No, if you look closely at her throat there, you can see she's still breathing. Ah, uh, this, this is life. Shut up. What was that? Just shut up, all of you! Abby, if I were you, I'd think very... Mum? Yes. You tried to kill Uncle Marcus. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you poisoning Uncle Marcus. I know it was you. Oh, Abby. I always hoped this wouldn't happen to you. Your father was like this towards the end. Seeing things, imagining things. I always hoped he hadn't passed it on to you, or that the, the medication was making it worse, but... You're just like him. No, this is real. And you tried to kill Uncle Marcus. Why? Why would I kill the man? For the money? For the business? Risking everything I have, my entire business and career that I've built up over 30 years for some garden centres and a few spas? Do you really think that little of me, Abby? I... You really don't know me at all, do you? You really didn't do it. Heaven knows why you've concocted this strange little fantasy. Look, I'm sorry, Abby, but whatever's going on here, I can't be part of it. What? I promised myself when your father became unwell that if anything like that ever happened to you, I couldn't put myself through that again. And I'm not going to break that promise. It's time I started putting myself first. <laughs> I hope you can find the help you need, Abby. Oh, and if you ever do get better, feel free to give me a call. You're probably better to text first, though. <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> You need to shake them off. Don't answer it. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, did someone just say my name? <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Hello, my gorgeous girl. How are you, love? I'm um, OK, thanks, Nan. How are you? Oh, don't worry about me. Same as usual. How's work, love? Um, Met anyone recently? Uh, when am I seeing you next? Uh, question one... We'll finish our chat later, love. I was recently interviewed by fashion icon Jani O oh for her YouTube channel. In that interview, I bravely revealed my biggest fear. What is it? Crikey. Well, she used to hate spiders, didn't she? 
Or was that you? Actually, and now I think of it, that might have been Bradley. <laughs> Which one of you was petrified of geese? Lottie is definitely scared of spiders, but she's kind of had this weird fear for a while about going bold. What a silly girl. Although I don't know if she'd admit that in the interview. Or in this quiz. I wish she was more like you, Abby, love. <laughs> she's been spoiled by her father too much. That's her problem. Let's go with spiders. The correct answer is spiders. Oh, you know, it's actually really hard for me to talk about this. Oh dear. Question two is, in that same interview with Jani O, oh, she asked me, what is my greatest achievement to date? This might be kind of easy for some of you, but I guess I'll figure out who actually watched the interview, won't I? Did you watch it, love? Yeah, I meant to. Oh dear. Well, she was really happy when she grew old enough to drink. Maybe that's it. Right, this is just a guess, but considering she was being interviewed by Jenny O, I'm going to say that she said her biggest achievement was being interviewed by Jenny O. Go with your gut, love. The whole thing's gibberish to me. So the answer is being interviewed by Jani O. Oh. What else could I say? She's an icon. Let me just think about the next question. I never thought Lottie'd be the one to become famous. I mean, she's not famous famous. I always thought it would be Bradley. Your Auntie June was so desperate to push him into the limelight. Now, of course, he's run a million miles in the opposite direction. Still, he, he was a brilliant little actor. Or should I say liar? How is Bradley? I, I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, no idea. But he seemed really off at the meeting. Very quiet. I mean, he's in his own head at the best of times, but this was different. At one point, I found him in another room, just staring at his hands, trying to stop them shaking. He was gripping them so tight, they were going red. I asked him what was wrong, and he, he just grumbled something and walked off. I'm ever so worried about him. But then I'm the same about all of you. What else are Nans for? <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna scroll my timeline to see if I can come up with a question three. So just like talk or whatever till I come up with something. Was the meeting mostly arguments, like usual? Oh, love, it was a bit of a disaster to be truthful. Your Auntie June not one of her huge candles right into Marcus's lap. Awful smell it was. Don't know why anyone would want that in their home. She must have to light another candle to get rid of the stench. Toby threw his drink over Marcus to put the flames out, but it didn't work. So your mother had to throw another drink over him. Thankfully that worked. But then Marcus said he burned his hand. Fair play to Lottie. She was the quickest to react. She got a cold cloth and put it on the wound and Bradley got some painkillers for Marcus. Then what would have done without those kids? Oh, this is a good one. Okay, question three. I recently modeled in the publicity campaign for which product? Gosh, any ideas, love? Yeah, I, th I think it's this makeup brand. Well, sort of, she's, she's been spamming her followers with emails about it. I signed up to a mailing list as a favor. Regretting it now, I bet. Little bit, yeah. Lottie keeps trying to make me get an email, but I'm not falling for it. This bald bloke on BBC One keeps going on about how the internet is essentially a giant scam. <sighs> what was the question? Some, something about makeup? This something. Are you all right, love? The answer is Dark Genie Virtual Eyeshadow. Trust me, it's the future. I can wear whatever I want and I never have to wash my face. And everyone on my mailing list is entitled to 10% off their first purchase. But the offer ends this month, so hurry quick. What were you saying, love? Sorry, Nan, I just... Do you remember anything else about the meeting? Anything strange? Strange? No. Uh, just the usual fuss about nothing. <laughs> Couple of temper tantrums, that's it. Honestly, love, I wish I'd followed your lead and not even bothered with it. Question four, guys. So, which famous musician recently DM'd me for a hookup? What's a hookup? 
I really don't want to say sex thing, is it? <laughs> I'm not sure if this is a clue, but he was staying at the Hilton and he asked me to meet him in his car. <laughs> Apparently that's like his thing. Lottie, do you think this is at all appropriate for a family occasion? You think your nan wants to hear this? I don't mind. She's only young. Let her have her fun. This kind of behaviour is unbecoming to our family, Lottie. No one's saying you're not entitled to a sex life, but you shouldn't be shouting about it. Your mother's just jealous, Lottie, because her sex life's about as active as the surface of the moon. And you're just batting them away, aren't you, June? <laughs> you probably dried up down there. Girls, you're embarrassing yourselves now. Honestly, I don't care. Someone else can have a go. At least I tried. Well, that's a shame. I thought we made a good team. Yeah, me too. It's been lovely talking to you, love. I don't hear much of the grandkids anymore. Well, apart from Toby, he's been phoning me a few times recently. A funny thing, he, he barely says a word, but I can tell by his voice he's been crying. It's like he wants to say something really important and then he just asks me how I am and says bye. I hope he's OK. You'll tell me if he says anything to you, won't you, love? Yeah, yeah, of course I will. Well, I'd best pop to the ladies' room before it all starts up again. Bye, love. Bye, Nan. Your grandma sure loves to talk. Yeah, the signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather... Oh, uh, Quiz again. Some can Well, I'm going. The music. Shall we go? Oh, you're for the in. Oh. Okay. This is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> Hi. And just like that, I've got a headache. Sorry. So we're going to mix things up here and we're going to be doing some of the workshops that I teach in the schools and I'll be awarding points for empathy. Oh, okay? Jesus Christ. That's not a quiz, No, Toby. it's so much more than that. This is an exercise where we can have fun and learn something. Just ask a question, Toby, like a normal person. Yeah, it doesn't really work like that. Toby, ask a fucking question. You've never supported me. Oh, oh God, you know what? Just, oh, wait there. No, I... I knew you'd do this. Question one. As global temperatures continue to rise, will it lead to an increase or a decrease in precipitation? Just say rain, Toby, for Christ's sake. Just say rain. Just like his father. Complete, utter embarrassment. I think it might be decrease. Do you? The answer is increase, obviously. <sighs> Things are only gonna get worse unless we act now. You're going to lose me this quiz, aren't you, Abigail? Okay, question two. To the nearest million, how far back in the Earth's history do we have to go? to find global temperatures like the ones we have today. I mean, who bloody well knows that? I'll give you a clue. The answer's pretty shocking, guys, OK? Just put something down, Abigail. You're never going to know this, are you? OK, I'll try three million. <clears throat> wow, someone actually got that. The answer is, it's three million years. Yeah, good job, Abs. Oh, my God. I guess all my efforts are finally paying off. You know, I always knew I could get through to this family if I could just... Oh, for once, your mother had the right idea. Did you just mute him? Yes. I mean, how he thinks your random guess can reflect well on him, I don't know. Looks like he's finished. Uh, yeah, hang on a minute, guys. I think I've, I've lost a page. Uh, yeah, just, uh, just give me a minute. It was such a lucky guess, wasn't it? I can't believe that. I mean, what are the odds? Surely good for you. Well, let's hope your luck doesn't run out because you're hardly going to know any of them, are you? Probably not. All that money your mother spent on your education. I demand a refund. Question three. As a result of climate change, 
over 200 species of frog have gone extinct. And that's just since the 1970s. But what's the biggest threat that frogs face? I might not have to guess this one. I actually saw a documentary the other day. You watch documentaries about frogs? Yeah, I guess. Well, it was about a lot of different animals. Anyway, I think the answer is disease. Warmer yes, climates. Yes, yes, whatever. But if you ask me, the biggest danger frogs face is the French. So... Put something down, Abigail, before he moves on. I'll go with diseases. So the correct answer is disease. Warmer climates mean diseases can spread very easily. So it's not just us in the firing line, guys. Well, that was easy. I know. <laughs> Question four. What percentage of the world's coral reefs have died over the past 30 years? For God's sake, I've had enough of this. Toby, are any of these questions going to be not depressing? I mean, normally just the sound of your voice is enough to make me want to end it all. It doesn't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry, Mum. What, you want me to do more stuff on the fun side of our planet dying? You know what? I really tried with this, but I can tell by the answers I'm getting that none of you are taking this seriously. So, you know, someone else can do around that. I don't care anymore. What a waste of time. Well done, Abigail. But Auntie June, I, I, I need to... Look, something terrible has happened to Uncle Marcus. Oh, what else shit is he coming out with now? Has he got aliens <coughs> coming after him? Is that it? What? The thing you have to understand about your dear Uncle Marcus is that he's a nutter. Complete paranoid fantasist. Do you know, one year, he thought his business partner was trying to kill him. Yesterday he was getting threats. Anonymous emails, anonymous. He's probably sending them to himself. So he got shutters, put on all the windows, surveillance cameras everywhere. Do you know what happened? Nothing, obviously. Your uncle Marcus lost his marbles a very long time ago. He's dangerous. Don't trust a word he says. Abby, please. Family that would never fucking lie to you. Huh. I just don't know what to believe. Believe me, Abby. Please. I can't. Abby, don't do this. I'm sorry. Abby, wait! You need to shake them. Don't answer it. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Oh, so you want to be in a team with me? Well, at least you're not June. Did you like the present I got you? Mm, remind me. The earrings? Oh, yes, that's right. You think they suit me, do you? Well, I just think you look great in anything. Okay, question one. Whenever I'm in Dubai, I go to Dimitri Chateau's. He does my favorite dish in the world. What is it? What a stupid question. How on earth am I supposed to keep track of every culinary fiasco that Lottie gets obsessed with? I mean, whatever it is, it'll be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Is it trendy to eat a hedge now? Yeah, I haven't got a clue either. I, you're right, I, I don't know how she expects us to know these. <laughs> Shall we just guess? You can think of something. Sure. Uh, Hunter's chicken? She likes that. So the dish is called Humility. Even the name makes me feel sick. It's a specially prepared ketogenic hemp and tofu bowl served with wild quinoa. Oh, seriously unreal. Question two, I like to use my channel to help others, so which charity did I recently promote on my socials? Oh, I know this. Toby was arguing with her about it at the meeting, kept saying it wasn't a real charity. At the meeting? Mm, Toby was going mad. 
He was on edge about something all evening. Never seen him so keen to be at the meeting. It's like he had something to get out of it. He didn't even come last year. Didn't he? Claimed he had a mindfulness retreat in the Cairngorms. Oh, I know what it was. It wasn't a charity. It was a fundraiser for an eco-fashion brand that was going out of business now. Green pieces. That's what they were called. Was anyone else acting strange at the meeting? Oh, stop it, Abby. I don't want to talk about that now. Tonight's about family and fun. The two Fs. Don't make me add another. Christ, I tried some of Greenpeace's stuff once. It's all recycled. You're literally wearing someone else's rubbish. Disgusting. So, green pieces, as in a piece of pie? How else would you spell it? The answer is green pieces. They're going through a really tough time right now, so it's like your perfect chance to give something back. You can find the donation link on my socials. How she can call that a charity, I don't know. <laughs> First time I've ever agreed with Toby. So why was Toby so keen to be at the meeting this time? <laughs> I don't know, he was on edge all evening. Kept trying to get Uncle Marcus on his own. Cornered him every time he stood up. <laughs> Marcus looked like he was being hunted down. God knows what all that was about. Um, just talk amongst yourselves, guys. When I have question three, I will shout. Sorry I missed the meeting, Mum. So you should be. It was the usual nightmare. Don't see why you should get to escape it. The one consolation, Marcus came off worse this time. I mean, I know you've hero-worshipped that man ever since your father died, but he really is an awful prick. What happened? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? Auntie June knocked one of her foul-smelling candles right onto him. Christ knows what scent it was supposed to be. Cherry and toilet duck, it smelt like. Something chemical, anyway. And Marcus's jumper started to burn instantly. So Toby threw his drink straight in Marcus's face, said he was trying to put out the flames. Now, how you missed by that much accidentally, I don't know. So then I poured Marcus's drink over him to actually put out the flames. Of course. Then Marcus started shouting about Auntie June burning his hand and Lottie came in with an old wet rack which she said was cold and started rubbing it on the burn. Then your nan found a first aid box and started trying to dress the wound. Bradley came in with, well, they were pills. We said they were painkillers. Would you trust anything Bradley gave you? I've got it. Okay. The internet loves me for my eyes and my unique style, but which of my special talents has recently got them obsessed? It was only a matter of time before she brought up singing. I, I think that she might mean something else. She can't do anything else. Well, she posted this video last week of her doing like the survival dance. Um, it was called the shaker. You basically just shake your... You know. I can guess. Don't worry, Mum. Loads, loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. Just pick an answer. <laughs> the answer is... Singing. <sighs> Yesterday, I did an a cappella version of that orange juice song from the advert. It's doing serious numbers. You were right, Mum. I need to have a word with Lottie about that shaker. You're not going to tell her that I... Of course, she needs to know she can't trust you. She also needs to know that what she puts on her social media reflects on the family. It's not just her own reputation she's ruining. Question four. How many dance championships did I win as a kid? God, she loves herself. Baffles me where she gets it from. Dance championships. I can work this out. Lottie only danced between 10 and 14, and there was a dance competition every... What was it? Every four months. Now, Lottie would never ask this question if she'd ever lost a competition. So, four years, a dance competition every four months, 12 months in a year, and... Oh, shit, no-one in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. I think it's 20. Fine. <clears throat> the answer is a record 12 wins. I mean, my coach said it was the best he's ever seen and he's been doing it for like 90 years or something. 
someone else can go now. I'm getting, like, really low on my social battery. Oh, thank God that's over. Oh, um, Mum, I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah, so quiz again. Well, I'm the music. Shall we go with most? You for the it. Oh. Okay, listen up, guys. Is if you never speak to me ever again. <laughs> Hi. And just like that, I've got a headache. Sorry. So we're gonna mix things up here and we're gonna be doing some of the workshops that I teach in the schools and I'll be awarding points for empathy. Oh, okay? Jesus Christ. That's not a quiz, No, Toby. it's so much more than that. This is an exercise where we can have fun and learn something. Just ask a question, Toby, like a normal person. Yeah, it doesn't really work like that. Toby, ask a fucking question. You've never supported me. Oh, oh God, you know what? Just, no, wait there. No, I... I knew you'd do this. Question one. As global temperatures continue to rise, will it lead to an increase or a decrease in precipitation? Just say rain, Toby, for Christ's sake. Just say rain. Just like his father. Complete, utter embarrassment. Shall we go with increase? Well, it's 50-50, Abigail. I'm sure you can handle it. The answer is increase. Things are only going to get worse unless we act. Well, what a lucky guess. Congratulations. You have the equivalent brain power of a flipped coin. Thanks. Question two. Which greenhouse gas traps more of the sun's heat? Carbon dioxide? Or water vapour? Another 50-50. It's clearly as much as Toby's tiny mind can take. It just goes to show it can cause permanent damage, having one's head permanently stuck up one's own arsehole. <sighs> well, I've got a good feeling about water vapour. So the answer is water vapour. Bradley, my breath isn't a greenhouse gas. Please take this seriously. You flute two in a row. Oh, I'm just glad we're getting them right. Yes, so glad. It seems like we make a pretty good team. Like a seagull and a jet engine. Question three. As a result of climate change, over 200 species of frog have gone extinct. And that's just since the 1970s. But what's the biggest threat that frogs face? I might not have to guess this one. I actually saw a documentary the other day. You watch documentaries about frogs? Yeah, I guess. Well, it was about a lot of different animals. Anyway, I think the answer is disease. Warmer yes, climates. Yes, yes, whatever. But if you ask me, the biggest danger frogs face is the French. So... Put something down, Abigail, before he moves on. I'll go with diseases. The correct answer is disease. Warmer climates mean diseases can spread very easily. So it's not just us in the firing line, guys. Well, that was easy. I know. <laughs> Question four. What percentage of the world's coral reefs have died over the past 30 years? For sake, I've had enough of this. Toby, are any of these questions going to be not depressing. I mean, normally just the sound of your voice is enough to make me want to end it all. It doesn't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry, Mum. What, you want me to do more stuff on the fun side of our planet dying? You know what? I really tried with this, but I can tell by the answers I'm getting that none of you are taking this seriously. So, you know, someone else can do around that. I don't care anymore. Well, at least we got some points. I just want to beat your mother. I just want to see the look on her face. Auntie June, I... I have to ask you about something about Uncle Marcus. Do me a favour. The next time you speak to that asshole, you tell him to stop asking questions about Daddy. Grandad? Yes. He was pestering your Nana about it all night at the meeting. It really quite upset her. What was he asking about? What you have to understand 
about your dear Uncle Marcus is that he has a very hard time moving on. He never quite got to grips with the fact that his mother died giving birth to him. And his father, my daddy, your grandfather, hated him for it. Granddad hated him? Well, that's what Mama always told me. I never knew that. She said even after they got married, your grandfather could never quite forget what happened to Marcus's mother. And Marcus was just a constant reminder. Mummy says that's why Daddy killed himself. I thought you died in an accident. No, that's just what we told other people. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is it? Every night, I can hear their voices. Shouting, screaming at each other. Who? That's the last time I ever saw him. Just watched the back of his head as he walked out the door. I really, I could remember what they were saying to each other. He was shouting at her and he hated her. And it stopped. And I crept up to my room. I used to like looking at the stars. And I thought Mummy would be coming up to bed. But then I saw her moving slowly across the lawn towards the lake. And she had a wheelbarrow with one of Daddy's suits inside. I didn't think it was strange because she was always destroying Daddy's things, you know, to prove a point, to win an argument, but... Why would you put a suit in a wheelbarrow? <laughs> well, unless I'm just imagining it, you know, it's so hard to remember the truth, you know, and you spend so many years trying not to remember anything at all. Auntie June, I... Something terrible has happened to Uncle Marcus. Oh, what else shit is he coming out with now? Abby, please... Family that would never fucking lie to you. I am. My four. Abby, where have you been? Oh, she's doing it for attention. Be quiet, June. Are you okay, love? You're gonna have to speak up, Abs. There's some pretty heavy rain here. Is she frozen? No, if you look closely at her throat there, you can see she's still breathing. Ah, uh, this, this is life. Shut up. What was that? Just shut up, all of you! Abby, if I were you, I'd think very... Fuck. Nan, we need to talk. What is it, love? What's wrong? Uncle Marcus is dead. What, what, what do you mean, love? Has there been some sort of accident? He's dead, Nan. You killed him. Uh, I'm lost. <gasps> is this part of the quiz? It was you, Nan. I know it was you. I know you killed him. Prove it. You can't, can you? I'll, I'll find... Uh... Oh, Abby. What a stupid girl you've been. You know what this means, don't you? Now that Marcus is dead, his share of the business comes back to me. I own all of it. You'd be amazed what you can make disappear if you wave a big enough number in someone's face. It was you. Please, Abby. If you value everything you have, everything this family's given you, 